Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Spellbook Demon Slayers run and let's get right to it. Obviously Wolfie because XP gain in rerolls, literally the best book in the game and uh, yeah, let's just run it. I mean, uh, yeah, let's go with a bit more faster speed, let's see how it is and uh, let's begin. Everything gets the speed, me and opponents included. Although I'm not sure if me um, getting more speed is somehow multiplicative with me gaining more. Why, why do I have three projectiles? I'm supposed to have two. Yeah, so something is wrong. Doesn't matter. Plus one projectile. From where did I get this? No idea. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Let's go with uh, tornadoes. Today I said I'm going to go with tornadoes. But, but, first we're going to get organ harvest. <laughs> because it's the best spell in the game. And honestly, without it, you can't really play right now. Uh, unless you have meta progression, right? Uh, Lifesteal from meta progression. But without uh, HP regen, actually. HP regen from meta progression. Let's go with this. Without HP regen. Wait a minute. There are weapons that I've never ever tried. Oh, we have more of this game to go with. Oh, whoa, whoa. I really hope that people enjoy this game. Because otherwise, I have recorded like four videos, including this, uh, out of the blue, without having any idea if people enjoy this or not. And I'm on vacation right now, so I can't really change it. So let's hope for the best. XP gain for sure. No questions asked. I want to get as many levels as I want, at the, as I need at the end. I'm going to play today with Tornado and Blizzard. That's the idea here. Or... Red could go Tornado and Shotgun. There's like a Shotgun spell uh, that shoots theoretically behind us. But if I have the... Um, if, I, if I get the Legendary version or the Cursed version, depending on how you see it, it's going to be something else. Creep Colors, Tornado. A Tornado, actually, because Tennis Balls. Uh, anyway, we're going to continue with the gun right now and the Scythes until I get to a point where I'm comfortable and not caring about those anymore. Because right now, I definitely need those. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's go with manual targeting because right now I need to hit the boss. Yep, easy enough. Let's maybe hit things behind the boss too. Very nice. I do enjoy that my bullets have like almost infinite piercing, if not infinite. It's a good snipe here. Nice. No, I don't have infinite piercing, it seems. But still, if I can line it up and destroy everything, it's good to go. Damage. This is good. This is good. Let's go with crit chance first and uh, this later. Let's go with crit chance first, so we're done with that part. Let's level up here. Repeats one more time on the scythes. Okay, so we got the scythes leveled up. Uh, I would enjoy going back to automatic shooting, but honestly, I think manual shooting is so much better than automatic, especially for the early game of this game. And you can just shoot wherever you decide to. Uh, let's continue with the double taps first, so we get our guns going. I would enjoy also getting a bunch more projectiles. It's going to help with it, uh, the, the cyclones. It's going to help with uh, pretty much everything. I'm gonna go Cyclones and Blizzard. We're gonna be the, the weather the, the weather build today, you know. The weather caster, the caster mage, or whatever it is. Could have also gone with a bit of Thunder for even more better, but Blood Blitz. Oh, this is also something I haven't done ever. You know what I want to do as a build? Blood Blitz plus Organ Harvest twice. Because this is expected blood nearby. Extra projectiles also add repeated cast and base damage is increased on your region. And I can take Harvest twice. You can take the same spell twice in this game. So I want to do like, um, yeah, I want to do a literally build like that. <laughs> I just said it three times. So that would be nice in my opinion. Go here for the good snip. Nice. Go through because it doesn't really matter. Running in the middle because I don't care. And it also doesn't matter. Okay, let's pull them in. Pull them in. Shoot them down. Pull them in. Shoot them down. I think oh no, I got hit. Look at this redness. I love it. Uh, magma axis. I also have never done a build with this. We're going to roll your roll here. I found the hailstorm, so I think I can take it. Uh, yeah, let's take the hailstorm. So now it's raining. Maybe a double hailstorm would be awesome. Yeah, something like that could also be awesome. Like, get the hailstorm and then get also the cursed hailstorm. And then have a double hailstorm going. That would be actually insanely awesome. Uh, but we're gonna see what we're gonna see what we're gonna get with. Oh no, we lose a bunch of life. I don't really care. XP gain. I don't even look at the others. When I find XP gain, I pick XP gain. Because the faster I get that thing going, and the, the earlier, the better. We're gonna get more levels early, that means we're gonna kill more opponents early, that means we're gonna get more levels early, which means we're gonna kill more. You know, it, it, the earlier you get that going, the better. Uh, to Tornado, Organ Harvest. I mean, right now, the Hailstorm is gonna go. Tornado, if, if I get the Cursed Hailstorm. Which isn't very good. So, let's get Tornado. And if we get the Cursed... Uh, first of all, I will try to get another level on the, uh, the Storm. So that if we get the Cursed Storm, we have like Tornado and the Cursed... Uh, two, two Storms related things, you know? We're gonna have the Poison Storm and we're gonna also have the Normal Storm. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, see the Elite coming. See what we get. Crit Chance, I would say. Fish one with the Yeah, let's go Crit Chance. Boom, boom, snip, snip. Again, snip, snip. 
Snip snip, nice, and everybody's toast. Oh no, we lost life, I don't care. Four more projectiles, nice, and now we actually got the tornado going. You know what, I want to do the more projectiles build. So, I think Blizzard plus Tornado is the play, unless, as I said, I get the second Blizzard, at which point I will go double Blizzards, which uh, is also fun build on its own. Strike with, I, I still don't know what this is. Uh, let's go with, definitely not Tornado. Let's go with, damn, let's go with this. Just go with more scythes. Maybe damage is good too. We're gonna see. We're gonna see, man. Everything is still uh, up, gra up for grabs. We still haven't even found our first curse. So, who knows. Let's hope we get some good. Let's hope to get something good. I don't even know exactly if I have even seen all the curse weapons. Because I have seen, like, the shield. I have seen the tornado. Uh, not the tornado. I have seen the blizzard. I've seen uh, the, the bouncing orbs. Uh, what else? I've seen, like, the flame that goes around. The acid, pretty much. But I, I'm not sure if I have seen everything. Let's do it. Inst instant pick up the XP and pick up range. No questions asked. No no thought behind it. Just do it. Look how much damage. And this is the shrine. I want to first... Yeah, I want to first get the shrine and then pick up the chest. Because by doing it this order, uh, I, I there is a good chance I'm going to throw away the thing. What is this? Black Oh, This is new. Spells gain. Spells gain base damage based on knockback. Knockback puts out no acid, rotating acid, the thing I said. No, spawn treasure chest, also bad. I can go a reroll. I don't really want to do a reroll though. Like, all of these are really bad. Who cares about your chest, man? A shrine. I don't want the acid breath at all. I want the blizzard, man. Let's reroll. I'm gonna lose here a meta progression currency, but once again, I don't really care. Yes, Star Forge, you know, that's another spell. Most spell project, that's two more enemies. No, pierce. No, not piercing. What do I need piercing for? Uh, crit damage up, minus damage. We're gonna take that. That's a good spell always. We are gonna go crit build anyway. Like, we always go crit build. I didn't even read what that was. 15% something. Yeah, I should have read. I guess from someone chance to freeze or something. Spells have one more projectile. I'm gonna take this because I want to get the final version. Spells base projectile amount doubled. That's what I want. I see this, it's good. I see this, it's good. We're gonna go with more projectiles. I want for once to take that passive, man, and actually have it. And I wanted to get it in the curse too, but whatever. And once again, I am throwing away my meta progression currency, but it doesn't really matter, man. I am winning the runs anyway. And even if I lose the runs, I don't care. By the way, I like that it's raining, the ambience here. Let's continue. Does that, does that, do I sh shoot out three time tornadoes? No, I do shoot out two tornadoes, though. So, so that's really good. It's really good that the projectiles actually make it so that I throw out more tornadoes. And then the tornadoes also shoot themselves. I don't care about this at all. Max life for armor, not really. I don't want all of these. Reroll. I guess the blizzard damage up. I guess. Nah, I want my my good weapons. One more projectile, I guess. <laughs> I lied for I want my good weapons. <laughs> Classic sift fashion. The more projectiles, the better. By the way, I will con I will level up tennis balls. Don't think I'm not gonna do it. Because we have tested yesterday and we know for a fact that if later in the run I for some reason decide to... Uh, not for some reason. If I happen to roll the blizzard, the super blizzard, uh, then it will maintain the levels of whatever weapon it consumed. So, nice level on those. Very nice. So if it consumes this thing while it's at level 5, then it will be level 5 super, uh, super blizzard. But the thing is I just need to have the rest above. Crit chance I think is good. So let's go for a crit chance. Crit damage is also good. Instantly destroy your points low life. This is, uh, yeah, this is just crit damage. <laughs> let's go with crit damage for now. As I already got the curse for 20% crit damage. So I need to be doing more crits. Uh, as many crits as possible, actually. I need to have 100% crit chance. Do not have any negative side on that uh, on that upgrade. Let's go on. Because otherwise it's just 20% less damage. So, wait a minute. 47%. So right now, 53% of the time, it's 20% less damage. And uh, the other 47% is more damage. You know what? Let's stop doing manual shooting. Let's do just like this. Boom, done. Nice. Let's continue. Now we do not need to target anymore. Obviously, my deep... I mean, theoretically, my DPS should go down because now it has a good chance to shoot into one opponent and just lose DPS because of that. But theoretically, it should, all should, go, it, it should also go up because now it doesn't shoot five shots in the same line or close to the same line and just spreads them out. So, you know, you lose some, you win some. Evolve double tap, fires extra auto-aimed bullets against leads. We're gonna take that, obviously. This is a free Astral Flower Shrine, which is we gain a meta-aggression currency. Nice. 
We got a meta progression currency there. That was very nice and free. Okay. I like how the weapons rotate when you level them, when you quote unquote evolve them. And then you, man, this game has so many weapons, and because. I mean, the first weapon doesn't matter. This gun is never gonna go away, okay? E even if I pick, like, other characters, the starting weapon's not gonna go away. So there is no reason to go for other ones. Let's go for this, even more projectiles. So I want to really see the double projectile amount. I want to see, like, millions upon millions of rains dropping from the sky and whatnot. Yeah, right now the, the blizzard doesn't really do anything. Only my gun is doing something. <clears throat> And even that is not a one shot. I mean, it is a one shot. It is 122 damage. What am I talking about? This guy moves fast. Hasted. Well, fast, not fast. He's dying in, in a bit. Double my projectiles. Let's do it. We lose a bit of damage. We're gonna go negative damage. No, we, we don't want to do negative damage because negative damage is so bad. We're gonna roll here. Um, More projectile range. That's what it said. Six more projectiles. Is this thing crazy? Anyway, we're still gonna reroll. No, reroll. Okay, here we go, crit damage. Let's go crit damage, I guess. I want flat damage, I want the brain. I need to get flat damage so I don't lose anything. Because losing fifth, uh, being in negatives is so much worse than how being in positives is good. I, I, I don't know how exactly to explain it better. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I want this this time. Like, I'm always taking this because it, the passive is insane, but it reduces my defense a bit too much. Maybe I'm gonna take it later. Uh, for now, let's maybe go for this, so we maybe hit the cooldown related thing. Maybe I should just get the weapon to be insane for now. Or the blizzard too. Let's see what we get. Okay, we actually got the six more projectiles. And the 50% more area or whatever. Yeah, if it also did damage, it would be really nice. It would really be dandy if it did damage. I do enjoy that I gain more XP though and pick up range. Nice. Freezing rain. That's the level up from 5 to 6. Evolved haste storm. Demons frozen by anything. Shatter on death. Dealing 7% of their max HP as damage. Okay. Might as well. You know, might as well. Why not? Let's continue going on. Uh, right around here I should get like a demon shrine. I should also look at the time and learn when exactly the, the, the cursed shrines or the, the whatever it's called up here. Can you shoot downward please? Let's go in circles here. I know, I know, I know. I know I can target on my own. <laughs> I know I can target whenever I want, whatever I want, but still. We have some freeze chance, fire more projectile. Okay, the, the, the buffs are become a lot worse. We roll. Crit chance increase while I don't get hit. Uh, no, we're gonna go with damage here, so that I can actually take the double projectiles without having a negative downside. Okay, we're attacking here the wealthy opponent. Just gonna give us XP after he's dead. Yeah, my weapons definitely need level ups. I mean, the weapon is carrying us, but the rest are not. Level up. Calls one for one more. And calls for one more demon or something. Ball cooldown 0 0.2. Okay. Uh, now I can take it. I'm at minus 14 here, and I am now at nothing. Okay, now I do double the projectiles on all my weapons. How many bullets do I shoot? I don't see that many difference in bullets. Maybe the scythes are going to have the most difference, and the hailstorm. Yeah, the Hailstorm definitely is shooting a lot more than it was. Please don't tell me it's one of these games where the cooldown happens after the spells stop casting. Because if that's the case, then obviously more projectiles is useless. I mean, not useless, but it's definitely not as good as it could have been. Uh, if it is of this, the games that actually do not care about how many projectiles you shoot, then good. But I, it doesn't feel like to be that case. Uh, yeah, let's go with quick chance, slowly increase if I don't get hit. Which bugs out completely, by the way. Now I have 293% crit chance. I don't know exactly how that works. Smuggler Shrine is here. Maybe we're gonna throw away the Typhoon. Get the Super Blizzard. I love the music, man. Super Shrine, let's see. Come on, Super Blizzard. What is this? Speed Demon. Casting speed 3%, useless. Crit chance minus 10%. Pretty bad. Knockback to Okay, none of these is useful. Uh, no more healing shrines. I guess. Like, the other chance is to just reroll. Let's roll again, you it, man. I'm super stupid. Black hole again. Are you kidding me? I got this again. Two more piercing. Who cares about piercing, man? I'm gonna take this. This happened twice now, by the way. <laughs> I twice rolled trash. Okay, level up. And also that thing. I don't care about this. Chance to freeze on hit for two seconds. Does this passive work on everything? And this final one is that frozen demon shadow on death dealing 7% of the max damage. 
I could also go for this, setting up the downside, because this gives a 3% more damage at full life and normal at not full life. Ah, let's reroll. I can find better things. Maybe get the gun to max level. I have no idea, man. Reroll again. I want stats. I want to, I want flat damage. I want stuff like that. Crit damage. Yeah, I mean, I have infinite crit chance right now, so... Might as well go for crit damage, which uh, is, is damage, pretty much. Okay, let's go in circles. I need to get my set leveled up, though. That's something... What is this? Uh, what is happening around me? Oh, it, it's this thing. It's this thing. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. This weapon does not exist. This is like blood ticks. Okay, now we know for a fact, guaranteed, that there is some kind of uh, cursed skill with the ticks. The, the lightning ticks. Because lightning ticks is an, a, a skill that exists on normally. And I have leveled it up, and it becomes blue when it's leveled up. So that thing was something completely different. Let's go damage here. Uh, or cooldown, to be honest. Setting up the cooldown. Uh, should I set up the cooldown? Let's get damage. Let's get damage. We should also start freezing opponents more. Yeah, maybe that's a thing. Let's continue. Also, the damage makes the size of my attacks bigger. Okay, so I definitely, definitely need to get the scythes leveled up right this moment. Oh, I need the legendary scythes. Like, it's gonna make everything a bit better. Especially with the flames all around, helping out with the damage. Yeah, I do like the Typhoon still moving around. Okay, and also we lose level that we could have gained by not having gotten the last level on that. Okay, crit damage. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the crit damage, all right. I'm not gonna spend the rerolls just because I said that I want the scythes. Oh, that's, that's not a point. Maybe I should also take freezing. Man, there are so many builds to go with this. So many builds. I also want to start leveling up the Typhoon. Although I, I do want to still do the Blizzard build. I will get two more Curse Shrines. And as I said, even if I level up the Typhoon, there is still... Uh, if, if I get a Cursed Weapon that says I have to throw something away, all those levels are going to go to Blizzard. So there is no way that we're going to not get the Blizzard if I see it. But most of the time, I guess we're not going to see it. Is the issue here. I also got the meta progression upgrade that says that there is a chance that some weird hard shrine to get appears and then that cascades into more shrines or something. It didn't happen yet. And I have no idea what it does. I mean, I literally got it between runs. It's not like I didn't run with it or anything. Uh, and your toast level up. Okay, time to evolve this thing at long last. So I evolved the scythes, get the level up here, instant level on the tornado. Okay, the tornado is level 5, so now I can also evolve the tornado. So let's do that too. Maybe Voltornado is crazy strong. Who knows? Uh, projectiles? No, I don't care about piercing. I also don't care about chaining. Let's reroll here. I really love that I have like almost infinite rerolls. A Voltornado launches two more balls. Oh, oh, now it's a super shot. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's decent. It's good. It's good. It's good. I like it. I like it. It's decent. It's decent. Also, I shoot like a million of them out, so it's even more decent than what somebody would expect. Man, I really love the second half of this game. I really love how it switches it up. Let's go with this. I want to get the cooldown going. I want to actually just get the cooldown, not cooldown going. Just straight up get it. Let's continue on. We're at level 31 before the, the before the zero, 0 mark. So that's really good. I mean, we're very high level. That's what I mean. Continue leveling up. And now in a bit, we're going to lose all our damage. And uh, everything is going to become crazy. We will continue with this. Uh, this is level 2. Actually, I think I just made it level 2. So I need to make it level 3. I still think spell casting is like a trash stat. And just shooting out all your projectiles faster is so bad. I mean, it's not bad, but it's trash. It's it's useless. It's gone. Da -da 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 -da. It's not bad. It's trash. It's worse. <laughs> what is this? Blood Spark Shrine? I, I think this is what I have. I think this Blood Shrine Spark is that uh, thing I said that we got. Uh, let's reroll here. Damage 25%. Let's take it. That's going to be helping very a lot. Yep, we got these ticks, and I'm about to get this tick buff twice. Yep, I'm still waiting to... And we got it twice. J gained a temporary blood lightning spell. Yeah, that blood lightning spell does not exist. Okay, I have never gotten it ever. Launch one more ball. Nice. And base damage up. Okay, nice double level there. And this blood tick most likely gives us region or something. I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm not really sure if I can somehow test it. Because the scythes also give us... Eh, now I don't have the buff anymore anyway. Turbo Shrine. Let's go. Level up. Okay, we found this thing, which is, once again, dangerous. But if I get it to the final level, it's going to be really good. Uh, you know what? Let's not take it. Let's just let's just not take it. 
Maybe one time I can. I, I'm not forced to take every single uh, similar skill. We're gonna take other skills today, you know. I'm gonna take the flat out damage skill, which I always take too. I'm gonna take the, the freeze. Chance to freeze opponents, you know. I never take that. Maybe that's gonna be awesome. Warning, warning, warning. Okay, warning. The final fight is about to commence. Give me a million buffs. Boom. Let us go. And now we're gonna start gaining so much more XP. And uh, in general, everything's gonna go a lot faster and a lot better. And now the time goes up at double the speed of normal seconds. I don't think that this is a normal second speed. So, yeah, the run is 20 minutes long. We're gonna be done within before the 30 minute mark. Uh, let's go for this. Still going for the cooldown. Still chasing for the cooldown. I need to level up my blizzard. Definitely, definitely need to level up my blizzard. Because, uh, yeah, if I roll now... The shrine that says uh, you throw away the things. Well, guess what's gonna go away? Blizzard, we're gonna lose Blizzard. Oh, we got twice the shrine for XP. Nice, got it once. Elites are toast, got it twice. Yeah, we have so many buffs again. And the shrine for movement speed. Man, I love this phase so much. Just everything explodes all the time. We do less damage, yes, but a lot less damage. But still, we get all the buffs. We run around in good speeds. We pick up XP from everywhere. I love it, man. I love the fact that this game is like, okay, at the second half, you're never ever gonna care about anything anymore. Let's level up the... Um, what is it called? The blizzard. I want to level up the... Oh, we found the cooldown thing. We're going to take the cooldown thing. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm kidding. It's a strange shrine. I thought it was the... I thought it was the, the other shrine. I think it appears... At the, I, I still don't know when they appear. I, I said I'm going to look it up, but I didn't. I mean, I, I, I said I'm going to mark the time. Okay, it's not at the two-minute mark. <laughs> That's for sure. I, I need to just look at the time the moment I pop the shrine, man. It's not that hard to get to, to remember. I mean, it is for me, but whatever. Let's continue. Okay, we level up the freeze. Now I need to level... Everything is level 7. Uh-oh. Just uh-oh. I need to level up everything other than the, typh the, the little... Uh, the, the typhoons. Which look awesome, by the way. But the thing is, I just want to do my blizzard build, you know? Chain shrine. And I really hope we're not gonna be forced into the build before leveling the things up. 25% damage. You know what? I, although I want this, I'm gonna actually start setting up. Let's go with gun first. Yeah, we go to shrines here. Nice. Chain Shrine. Okay, we're about to go into the curse thing. It's happening in a moment. You're gonna see. It's gonna happen about here. Pretty sure. But see, if you said you don't know. Nope, Curse Shrine. Okay, now's a good chance to go for the Blizzard. Because if one thing, if, if there's one thing I don't want to lose, it's actually the Scythes. <laughs> Let's get the Scythes. And the next one's gonna be the Blizzard. Otherwise, I mean, I'm gonna gamble, okay? At most, at most, what's the worst that can happen? The, the, the super, the normal blizzard, here it is, by the way. I'm gonna try to level up before I go there. I can easily go do that, obviously. Uh, this is the four minute mark, okay? So at the fourth minute mark, that happened. Okay, I hope that thing stays there forever before I lose it. Fine of shrines. What? Oh, that's the thing. Okay, we're gonna go blizzard here. The shrine of shrines is the, the thing. The shrine of shrines is the, um, the super unique thing. Star Scourge, no, and Nash's Breath, no, so close. That was the amount of elite demons with stable, stealable buffs. I mean, I can take this. Cast speed for crit chance, no. I, I think cast speed is like complete trash. I, I mean, I don't even know what cast speed even is. Uh, I think this is the force pretty much. Or for gravity infused bullets, no, I, I don't want to throw away this for the gravity infused bullets. I, I, I have done this, I, I have done this build. Yeah, well, let's go with this. Double the elites. Whatever. At, at most, we're gonna die, you know? And this is the super shrine I was mentioning. Yep, we got four shrines here. Let's go. Da, 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 da. And we got all these shrines, and we are completely busted. Let's go. I'm a bit sad that we were not able to do what we wanted to do. Whoop, here we go. A bunch more elites than we should have actually been fighting. Because Sift is smart, and he decides at the very end where you fight a bunch of dangerous elites to go with double elites that don't even spawn, by the way, uh, uh, what it's called. Let's reroll here. They don't even spawn what you want them to spawn. Uh, we're obviously gonna go with a bullet here. Although I should have gone with damage. I should go for the stats, man. The level ups on the... Yeah, the level ups... You know what? The dog is barking in the house, and somebody's gonna wake up, so I need to do it right this moment. Okay, I'm back. That was fast. Uh, let's continue. So, yeah, right now, every level I gain on a weapon uh, gives me, like, one thing for one weapon. Like, one more piercing or five more base damage. Like, it's not that much. I should reroll to just get 30% 30, 30 more damage, you know? 25% more to XYZ. Th these are so much better. Yeah, this, critical strikes instant kill. Just insane. Instant insane. Instant insane. As simple as that. 
We got a very good spell already. Like, execution is always insane. And this is like, we just got 25% more damage just by doing that. And now we're gonna go for another one of these. God, I really love the shrines that we're gaining. I wanna do the double scythe build. Is there any chance that you can go with the same weapon three times or four times? Is there any chance, like, uh, when you level up the one scythe, you get a choice for another scythe and then you level up the next scythe too? Let's go with brain power here. Perform some damage. Oh, look, three elites. Oh, look, two elites. Oh, look, dead. <laughs> And I got triple the buffs. Look at all my buffs. <laughs> How much crit chance do I have? Ah, only three. Ah, only a thousand crit chance. <laughs> a thousand crit chance because it's completely bugged out and a bunch of crit damage. I don't know why the crit chance is bugged out like that. <laughs> 9,500 crit chance. What game? Game, game, game. What are you doing? Uh, let's reroll here. And as I said, I'm gonna go with damage related. Here we go, 25% on damage. Let's continue. Obviously, that is a good passive. Let's continue on. But safe, you said you're gonna go freeze. I'm not gonna go freeze if it doesn't give it to me. And I will go with damage if it gives it to me. Oh, look, two mega elites. Oh, the, oh, the, and they all have movement speed. And three, two, one. Everything's dead. Nope, everything's still alive. Okay, everything's dead. <laughs> I like how they just all die at the same time. Uh, we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna go for only passives that affect pretty much everything here. We have 24 rerolls. We're easily gonna get what I want. Nope. Here we go. 3% chance to do triple damage, which is obviously a lot. Look at the million of typhoons that just go out and typhoon their way around. Can I get my blizzards, please? Can I get my blizzards, please? Imagine if there is like a blood typhoon, a Chris typhoon or something. By the way, the one shrine is at four, the other shrine is at nine. Okay? The, the, the fact that the moment I was about to say something about the shrine, it just appeared. This is very good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take this straight up. Like crit damage, no questions asked. Stay away from me, please. We have 303 crit damage, 85 normal damage. It's insane. Uh, let's try to see something better. Retaliate. And what does this do? All damage increased based on your missing HP up to 50% more damage. No. 50% more damage, it's a joke number. Favor and otherwise, regenerate 20% HP if you complete a shrine. Oh. So if you have this maxed out, this phase becomes a joke. Like, you will have 80% more favor. That means all your buffs are gonna last 80% more. And then you're also gonna heal 20% per shrine. And you get like a shrine every half a second or something. This is really good. We roll. Uh, Reroll. Chance to freeze. First one projectile. You know what? Let's go with this. I want to have that final level on that to see what happens. I want to get... I, I want to see it. I want to see the level 9 to read what it does. Because they go up to level 10. Although I think this game does not utilize the level 10 at any... Yeah, like 5% of enemy HP. Oh, okay. So that's 5 more damage on Shatter. Eh. Let's also see the same thing uh, that happens with that. Oh, Shrine of Shrine. So let's go... Million shrines incoming. This is the thing I just said that I unlocked, you know, when I said that I unlocked something with more shrines to give you shrines. That's it. That's the first time I'm seeing it, but uh, the second time because, you know, we see it, we saw it previously. We have enough buffs here to fight the elites, I hope at least. And these elites are not gonna really survive. I really hope in the final elite appears I will have all my buffs ready. I'm not gonna have this up. Reroll. Purposing damage on the explosion. I, I wanna see I wanna see what it gets. I saw the freeze. I saw the freeze. Don't don't you guys be afraid. Let's launch just one more ball and I wanna see what the level 10 does. Because maybe it does something unique, you know? I like the Frost. Actually, I was wrong about the Frost. The Frost does something at level 10. So th that's nice to see, you know? Let's continue going in circles. Let's continue going in circles. Da -da -da. By the way, as you see, the light, the HP regen is really keeping us alive. That that 5%, that 5 healing per second, 9 healing per second, 5, 7, 8. You know, all these numbers. Yeah, that's, that's what's keeping us alive. Come on, man. I was trying to get the XP shrine. Stay away from me. Stay away. Oh, we're dying. We almost died there. Uh, more HP and armor, I would say. <laughs> Let's go more HP and armor. Mostly for the armor, not for the HP. The HP doesn't matter that much, but the armor is gonna help us out with mitigating damage. And we're about to end this. I'm gonna get a Shrine of Shrines! Had Shrine of Shrines in it. Love it. Love it. And the Shrine of Shrines, the triggered Shrine of Shrines, triggered more Shrines. So we're gonna continue with that. And in about one minute, the elites got. Look how many buffs we have. Balls chain one more time. So boring. So boring. Uh, what do I want? This is also boring. What do I want? Chance to freeze. And let's try it. Let's try it. It's 5% chance to freeze. Let's see. Oh, it works on the bosses. Nice. Stay away from me. Look, at, we have all these buffs. And the boss is toast. And bosses. Oh, all of them are toast. <laughs> we just destroyed them. Let's go with even more damage. Yeah, all, all of the bosses just died. Instantly. Like, poop, bye. It was very easy. <laughs> 
kills needed. I'm gonna get the shrine before the time ends. Yeah, I don't even need to move anymore. Yep, I can just stay in the middle and don't do anything. And we have one. Because that's the power of the elements, man. The, the blizzard caster and the typhoons and all this jazz. Let's continue with the freeze chance. Why not? Is the explosion? Yeah, the explosion seems to happen on everything. Okay, that's a good combo, man. And it's good to know. We got six points, but we've wasted two because YOLO. Okay, so really, as you see, we are the 20, 30 minute mark. Didn't I say? Didn't I say that we're gonna go to the 30 minute mark? So that means that the second half that is supposed to be 13 minutes is actually less than 30 minutes because I was at the 20 minute mark a video time, you know, here YouTube time here at the bottom. I was at the 20 minute mark when I started that, and it's supposed to last 13 minutes, and right now it's 30 minute mark, so that, that's like definitive proof that it's a uh, double cat time. Anyway, that is it. As I said, I'm going single runs in this game because I'm in vacation right now. So I hope you guys enjoy what you saw. And I realize that there are a lot more weapons to go through here but um well right now it is 4 a.m for me so i am recording these all back to back and i have no idea if people enjoy this game or not so i hope it's not gonna be tanking and uh i mean i'm not sure if i should shoot like two more videos or three more videos on this so that it's covered for the whole vacation because the thing is right now if i leave the video as this one being the last it, it will it will be like three or four days until the next comes out because i'm doing like a seven day vacation or something and i shot like only four in a row or five so i'm not sure if i should do more runs on this but there are more runs to go through like uh uh, we can first of all do single weapon runs because as I said if you get a weapon to level 10 then it appears again on the sh like if you just evolve it not even level 10 if you evolve a level a uh, weapon from level 5 to level 6 then it um, allows you to take it again in the run itself so uh, that's something we could do anyway I'm not gonna do a huge outro because I know it plummets the view time so I hope you guys enjoyed you know the retention rate of the video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like let's the channel if you want to see more subscribe uh, I do really enjoy this run but I still uh, this game but I still have no idea if people watch this or not so i hope you guys do if you don't then i guess it's a dead series but i can't do anything right now i'm on vacation and um yeah i mean that's it as always thanks for the patreon membership supporters and if you want to support me too no that that was like an old outro you can do whatever you want if you don't want to support me don't if you want to f support me for free drop a like watch the video you know I, I don't need to explain anything to anybody you guys can do whatever you want anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's the most important part because i definitely like the run and yeah that's it once again thanks for watching and see you guys around